Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a purchase or pass video, and I am so excited. I love doing these, and I've recently upgraded on my channel to doing them every other week. And let me just tell you, okay, ooh, let me just tell you, I'm feeling some kind of way right now, and I am so excited to film this. Like, I've got some stuff, bitch. I have some thoughts and some opinions, and uh, we're going to get into it. So if you're new here, basically what this video is, um, is we go through, we talk about new releases, and I just give you my thoughts and opinions, things that are coming out, things that are being, you know, speculated in the makeup realm and I tell you if it's makeup that I plan on picking up if it's a pass for me or you know sometimes I'm, I'm not gonna lie I just have some shady ass thoughts that I want to share with the world and uh, that's really the scope of today's video so if you're into this okay if you're into kind of what we're what we're putting out today um definitely hang tight we're gonna be getting into the video in just a second but before we get into it I do like to pause really quick at the start of all my videos and just introduce myself for anybody that might be new here hello my name is Paige welcome to the channel I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then if you're new here, okay, and you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Everything is linked down below, but uh, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers over on that platform, and I just recently hit 6,000, and I am so freaking excited because just the growth that I have seen in the last couple of months has been amazing, and you guys are so sweet to all of you that have already went and followed me. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, all of the love and engagement that I'm getting over there is amazing. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. Of course, for those of you that haven't done so yet, like you're either new, maybe you just haven't made the leap. Let me tell you what's going on, okay? Because I have been working so, so much over on that platform, trying to build it, trying to not only increase like the follower count, because here's the thing. I don't believe in just building up a following and just, you know, getting more and more people. I think that it's important to also give something in return, like in terms of my content and make sure that what I produce over there is stuff that I really like, that I'm proud of it. And it's stuff that people can actually get something out of. So I have been really focusing my content over there on not just, um, you know, like makeup, like makeup photos. Hey, here's a picture. Here's a picture. But I've really been trying to expand past that and do, you know, makeup IGTV videos, makeup reels, makeup tutorials, little mini makeup reviews, you know, just stuff like that, that I think you guys would actually, you know, find useful. And then in addition to that too, I've also been really getting into like the plus size fashion end of it and really showing you guys my favorites as far as like loungewear all the way to casual business casual and just kind of like all encompassing different things, learning how to like take photos and do like the photography end of it because I take all my own photos. Um, it's just been really interesting and a super fun thing to kind of get to learn over there. But anyways, I talk about all of that in the feed, you know, like as far as what I post. And then also in the IG stories, which is like the day-to-day -day portion of it, I like to hang out with you guys a lot. We do unboxings in the office. We could take walks together. We do polls. But anyways, like I said, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you wanted to take a second and uh, go check out my Instagram. Again, everything will be linked down below. And from there, let's go. Oh, actually, pause. Okay, before we get into the video, one other thing I need to mention, this face, if you you are looking at it and you're like, damn, I like this. What, what am I looking at? What's going on? Um, I just want to mention this full face. I actually just did it in a testing new makeup, which I will link up here. And uh, it does feature the new, which we've talked about this before a hundred times, but it finally features the Eternal Eclipse palette from little Mr. Manny Mua, Manny M-U-A, his new Lunar Beauty palette. And it is so beautiful. I love the look, everything. Um, well, I shouldn't, shouldn't say everything, okay? Because really everything didn't turn out good. It was actually kind of a catastrophe. Um, but if you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's, it's kind of good, but like also kind of really not. So definitely, you know, go check that out if and you're curious. And now we will go ahead and get into today's video. Ooh, cue the shady thoughts because I got some stuff to say. Did I just spit? Because let's, let's be honest, okay? It's not going to be the first or the last time. Uh, I got stuff to say. I would like to also just report, I had the teeny tiniest little half a centimeter hair on my nose right here. And oh, could I feel it? <laughs> like how, how can I feel that? And not only that, how can we feel the teeniest little cook cook quarter centimeter hair? Okay, sitting on my nose. How could I feel that? But I would never know if I had like broccoli stuck in my teeth. Like how is that fair? Okay, let's just, let's just ask ourselves these questions because I think these are the questions that need to be answered. Also, I would never have broccoli stuck in my teeth. I just want to put that out there because ugh, I wouldn't eat broccoli. Oh my God, ugh. no. Absolutely fucking not. Okay, if I have broccoli in my teeth, it's not broccoli. It's probably like a green Skittle or some shit because it is not broccoli. Let's get into it. Oh my God, I tried to take so many selfies. Oh, <laughs> wow, did I take some selfies today? <gasps> Holy but Jesus. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and start here, actually. This is this is what I'm very excited about. Um, This is new from Maybelline. This is their new Lash Sensational Sky High Lengthening and Volume Mascara. And this is actually currently available at Ulta, which by the way, anything I can link, whether it's on my face or we talk about 
about it, I will have it linked down below for you if you want to check it out. Which actually, just as a fun fact, this mascara, I, I did actually order it. This is a purchase, bitch. I already purchased it. Um, and it's supposed to be on its way from Ulta, but Ulta still hasn't shipped my order from... To, well, actually, I shouldn't take that back. Uh, or I should take that back, rather. They did ship my order. I, I ordered it three weeks ago, as of when you guys are watching this. Still don't have it, though. And uh, they said they shipped it once. It got lost. And now they just haven't reshipped it. So I'm just, I'm just, just waiting for this to show up in the mail, along with everything else I ordered. Like, you know, my shampoo, my mom's stuff, my stuff, stuff to film, everything. Um, so yeah, hopefully it shows up. Hopefully it shows up soon. Um, and it, by the way, just stay tuned on Instagram because I'll let you know over there if and when it, if and when it shows up. I'll let you know. But either way, this mascara, it's a big, big hit for me. I'm so excited um, because I have been recently obsessed with this mascara. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational Full Fan Effect. And I picked this up at Walgreens like a couple of weeks ago, just like on a whim because I heard somebody say it was really good. And oh my word, you guys, this mascara is fantastic. I'm wearing it right now. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to test this new one, see if it's the same, uh, because it, this this one's like damn nice. So I'm, I'm really hopeful for this one. Okay, so really quick here, guys, this is the editing page popping in. I just wanted to give you a little update on this Alta order situation because I finally did hear back from them. And uh, in a twisted turn of events, they're actually expediting my order so that way I can have it because obviously I've waited so long. But uh, they informed me that this mascara evidently is like a very special mascara and you can't actually ship it overnight. Like it, it can't be expedited for some reason. Um, so just fun fact for me to you, apparently there are mascaras out there that have like bad things in them that they just can't be expedited. I don't know what happened. Um, but they had no issue with like all the, the various liquids and the shampoos. All of that was fine. But uh, the, the one mascara that I needed, like the one thing I was waiting for, um, I have to repurchase and wait for all over again. So fun fact, I just wanted to give you a little- rolls. What, Dad? Tootsie Rolls. What does it have to do with Tootsie Rolls, Dad? Jimmy. That's why. That's why? They, they couldn't expedite it because of Tootsie Rolls? Because of Tootsie Rolls. Please tell me. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Okay, please tell me you guys have one of these at home, too. One of these, one of these people. <laughs> Anyways, just a little update for me to you guys, just in case you're as invested in this as I am. Um, but I am hoping that the order is delivered soon because there is a ton of content in there. We've got some more holiday stuff going on. Um, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. But, you know, just a little just a little ending to the saga. I think after three weeks, I'm going to get my order. So woo, big thumbs up. <gasps> OK, OK, you guys, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about this packaging. Okay, we're not, the product itself, I'm actually not interested in at all. But this, did I just say words? No. But the Morphe and Lisa Frank collection, can we just talk about it, you guys? This is so, so me. Like, when they come out with this kind of makeup, you need to tell me, okay? Tell me they are not talking to me, to my people, to the people of, like, 19, well, I was going to say, like, 1985-ish, like, the 19, mid-1980s through, like, 98, like, th those of us that were in school at that time with the Lisa Frank Trapper Keepers and all the binders and the folders and all the bright colors. Oh my God, you guys, this is this is a real love and passion that you're seeing right here, okay? I was obsessed and I believe I had Lisa Frank folders and Trapper Keepers, by the way, like I'm not trying to brag, <laughs> but like I might've gotten it at Kmart on clearance and yes, bitch, I just said Kmart, okay? I, <laughs> I was so obsessed. But anyways, this collection for me, you guys, it could not be more nostalgic. It could not be more adorable. I love that there are three different, um, options like for the cover there's like the kitty cat the aliens and then the other one which I don't see here but I saw it on the Ulta website because by, by the way all of these are available there's those there's a little like pencil case which is so cute and it has little brushes in it and uh, then there's also like a little pack of five sponges and I almost like I saw this on the Ulta website before I saw it on trend mood and it I added it to cart instantly I was like bitch I don't even care what it is is it literally a book folder I don't care like I'm gonna add it to cart I want it and then I you know of course paused and I was like okay well hold on let's actually look at it. Like, let's click it, see what it is. And I'm not going to lie. I do think that the color story actually does match like what it is in terms of, you know, the brightness. It's got the hot pink, the, the bright green, you know, that sort of thing. But I do think two things. Number one, I think that the color story could have even went farther, like been more bright, more neon, and, and really been released as like a neon type collection. I think that that would have been better, like in terms of fitting the, the story here with Lisa Frank. But uh, so that's number one for me, like the color story, it's good, but I think it could have been better. Like it could have went from like a four to a 10, you know, just by really intensifying the vibrancy and making things that much more like, wow. Um, so that's number one. Number two, for me, the color story, like just for me personally, like
like what I gravitate towards. It really doesn't do it for me. Like I think I would use it maybe a couple of times, um, but it's not something that I'm like, you know, like I really need to have. It's not like a day in day out palette for me. It doesn't really have truthfully anything that I would see myself reaching for over and over. And so as much as it pains me to say like, it, I mean, it pains me, bitch. Um, I am actually not picking this one up and I don't think I will. I don't, don't think I will. I mean, maybe if it was on sale. No. No, I still don't need, okay, Paige, you need to remind yourself, sale doesn't mean that you need something, okay? Just, just because it goes on sale doesn't mean like, oh, I wasn't gonna use it before, but now that it's cheaper, you're still not gonna use it, Paige. Like, get it through your head. Oh, here's another good one, you guys. This one I'm really, really excited about, actually. This is from Alamar Cosmetics, and this is their new um, blush packaging. It's a new formula, what does it say? New shades, new formula, new packaging, and these are their Colorite Blush Trios, and it says that they're infused with hyaluronic acid designed to give you a flushed radiant glow with a buttery smooth formula that contains micro shimmers with new packaging and shades at $25 each and I really 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 like these I think the um the palettes like the different shades that they have are super beautiful and uh, I very well may pick one of these up at some point they have them in a fair light a medium tan and a dark rich version and I think my favorite out of the three is actually the medium tan I like the fact that it has more of like that brighter pink it has a slightly deeper mauvey purple and then a lighter option as well but my god I just think those look so beautiful like texturally they have like this beautiful shine like a little you know glissery situation Gl glissery going for glistening ended up at glisser glissery I don't know but either way super pretty um really really thinking about those all right so here's another one that I was actually really intrigued by too this is from Physicians Formula and this is their new all-star face palette and it says it includes six of their best-selling bronzers face powders blushes and highlighters in matte and multi-dimensional shades for $14.99 you get six for $14.99 which I think is a stellar deal and it has a um maru maru ru ru butter bronzer They're their Matte Monai Butter Bronzer, I'm saying that so wrong. Their Mortal Glow Pearls Powder, which I've actually, I don't know that I've ever used that, but it looks beautiful. Their Multicolored Powder, their Rosé All Day Petal Glow, and their Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Okay, okay, woo woo, you see my hand here going everywhere? Um, and I'm really actually excited. I think that this might be one that I, God, I might have to pick it up because that looks really beautiful. And I gotta say, Physicians Formula for their face powders, they are really, really nice. Like when, when they hit that mark, oh honey, they hit it hard because their their butter bronzer like I know it's like the cult classic but it really is beautiful and then they came out with other shades of it bitch those other shades are so great I think my favorite is actually um the butter I like the original butter bronzer that one's really beautiful but I also really like the butter bronzer light for like a, a lighter summery kind of day it just gives the perfect flush because I'm so damn pasty and it's just beautiful so anyways I might get that though I really really like that palette I think it's great and then what is this how did I miss you this is the Clementine. Oh, what, you guys, what is this? This is the Clement. Hold on. Pause, okay? This is new from M Cosmetics, which I'm actually wearing on my lips, some M Cosmetics. I have on their lip liner in the shade Teddy, which is gorgeous. And then I top that off with their True Gloss in Caramel Glaze. Also beautiful, beautiful. And this is their new, not, not that that had anything to do with this, but this is their, it says, now it's a full collection, new additions to the faded Clementine family, a Divine Skies oh, eyeshadow palette with a mix of tangerine oh my god I love a good tangerine a tangerine a berry warm brown matte and shimmery finishes and a lip cushion now I don't think I've ever used their lip cushion but bitch those freaking divine skies palettes I have one I used it day in and day out for so long and those formulas are so so beautiful so I very well might have to get this when does it launch November 20th it already launched <gasps> Ooh, I just got all the warm fuzzies bitch I might have to pick this one up like uh right meow like right when I'm done might have to go buy that because because I really feel like I would love that. The shades are gorgeous, and I actually think it's one that I would like use very consistently, especially this time of year, like those tones with that berry, with that tangerine, bitch. I love a good tangerine, like all over the eye, a tangerine even. <gasps> Oh, I could really go there. Okay, so that tangerine, that might that might be a yes. Okay, that one might be a big old yes. So did anybody else notice that they put a little cassette tape in the picture? Like, come on, a cassette tape. Bitch, a cassette 
babe. I love you so much. Oh, M Cosmetics, you are my people. Seriously, I, I'm really growing to love M Cosmetics over here. And the fact that they just put a cassette tape in the background, like it's just sending me to a whole new level. Huh, like retro, yes please. Anyways, let's move on. Hey guys, editing page again here. Um, I just wanted to interject, let you know that I did in fact, I did in fact pick this one up. Um, I, I actually couldn't wait very long after I was done with this. I was just like perusing the internet. And next thing I know, I, know, I was just like, oh my God, I need the Clementine collection. So I did in fact pick it up. It'll be in a video as soon as it gets here because I just think it is so damn beautiful. So just a little update from me to you. It's gorgeous and I and I did I did I did get it because it's so pretty. So next up, I was just scrolling through and I literally saw the word marshmallow and it just stopped me dead in my tracks because bitch, I love marshmallows. And this is from NYX. It says this is their marshmallow primer. Wait, what the hell? Available now, link in bio, pre-order 2020, 2021 NYX. Shipping just, oh, ships, sh wait, what? Ships close, close to December 6th. Okay, so it's a pre-order for 2021, but it's shipping December 6th. What am I not getting, number one? Um, also, no oh, maybe it means like you can pre-order now but it's not going to actually be like readily available until 2021 spring, which by the way, can, can we just get out of 2020 for us? Like, I'm sorry, 2020 has been a hell of a ride. Like I want to make sure we're not tripping on the one yard line on our way out. I know we're close, but like, let's just maybe, maybe just back down a little bit. Just calm down with this 2021 business. We're not even sure that we're going to get out of 2020. Okay. I'm just saying this is, this is meh. <laughs> but I mean, since how we're here, okay, let's go ahead and let's just like take a little peek, see what they have. Uh, Cause again, marshmallow, I have to know. So it says here, the marshmallow smoothing primer has a marshmallow effect. <laughs> Delicious. A 10 in one smoothing super primer infused with smoothing marshmallow root extract for 10 outstanding makeup extending benefits. With a soft whip texture, dries down totally transparent to work with all skin tones. This primer smooths, softens, extends makeup wear for 16 hours, hydrates, soothes, evens tone, minimizes texture, blurs lines, add a soft focus finish, and keeps makeup fresh. Hashtag vegan. Okay, wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Also, we have another mascara from Lancome, because you guys know I just freaking love, love testing mascaras. And this is a, their new dubbed Lash Idol Mascara. And it says the brush has a curve shape with 360 micro bristles. 360 micro bristles. Okay, I just want to make sure that we understand that. Um, in various sizes to generously coat the lashes while it adds a lifting effect. Last, lashes, Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Lasting for up to 24 hours, the gel emulsion can be easily removed and avoids flakiness and smudging. Pink and black packaging features Lancome Ionic... Nope. <laughs> Iconic Pow... I promise I can read. <laughs> okay, you just don't know it. Um, it features the iconic flower motif embossed on the lid. Oh my God, and it wasn't even an important sentence and it took me so long to say. Uh, but this says uh, that it'll be available December, uh, available, okay, December 2nd on their website, January 2021 worldwide. I am intrigued, okay? This 300, I'm like zooming in trying to count these bristles, bitch, shut up. But seriously, there's a lot of bristles on this thing. I'm trying to figure out like, you know what? I might have to test this out December 2nd. Yeah, that'll probably be a purchase for me. I'll let you guys know. Um, and if you haven't uh, done so yet, like I said before, follow me on Instagram because I'll probably test it there first because when I get a new mascara, I can't help myself. I always test it so fast on Instagram. Like it's just, oh, I gotta, gotta get it. Um, and I just gotta get it in my lashes. So, you know, follow me there if in uh, if in you're curious. Also, just as a little side note here, let's just uh, touch on the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Glow. This is supposed to be like a glowy, medium coverage, weightless, dewy complexion type tinted moisturizer. And uh, if everything goes correctly, okay, I don't have it yet. I have not yet tried it. By the time this video that you're watching right now goes live, there should be one on it. And so I will tentatively link that here. I'm telling, you know, future page, link it here. Uh, Cause hopefully by the time this video is up, if everything goes correctly, there is a video. So go check it out if and you want my thoughts because even a filming page right now doesn't know my thoughts. So, you know, you, you can know them before I know them in some weird cosmic shift. Okay, just go watch the video if you're curious uh, because there's gonna be one coming. So checking that out if you curious. All right, so let's talk about nail polish for a second because Lil Miss Kathleen Lights, Lights Lacquer, she is launching her new festive collection and this is launching on December 3rd and I am so, so damn excited because these colors are so beautiful. There's this bright green, bright blue, bright red. Mwah, yes, please, chef's kiss. As a side note though, I do pick up every launch, I think every launch or almost every launch any 
anyways, um, from Light Slacker because she's one of my favorite nail polish people ever. I think that her formula is so, so good. I loved it when it was KO Polish. I love it now as Light Slacker. And uh, yeah, so I'll definitely be picking this up, number one. And then also, number two, I just want to mention all of the nail polishes that I wear are 99.9% .9 of the time. They are from Light Slacker. And this week, I don't remember what this one is called. It's like her deep, deep green. Um, but I'm wearing Light Slacker now. And then also last week, a ton of you guys were asking me questions on that one, which I think was like Al Alexandrite, I want to say was the shade or something like that. Uh, because I remember when I read it, I was like, oh, Seeking Alexandria, Seeking Alexandrite. Get, get it? It was like a fun thing. Um, so I remember thinking that, but I'll make sure either way that I have both of them listed down below if you want to check them out. Because yeah, that's what I wear, like I said, 99.999% of the time because it's just, it's damn good. It lasts really well. And I just, I love her colors. I love them so much. And these festival colors, bitch, they are calling my name. Hi guys, me again. Um, just really, just so you know, um, the, these launched actually like today and, um, I did pick them up and I am next level excited. If you haven't seen her reveal video, I will launch it or link it down below. Um, because the nail polishes look so beautiful. Like they look even more amazing than I thought they did in this post. Um, there is multiple shimmery ones. There's one cream. And then I believe the blue one is actually like a, a soft velvet it finish and they look abs absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't seen it, highly recommend. Again, I'll link her video down below because it's uh, they're, they're just gorgeous and you need to see them applied. You need to see them swatched, bitch, if you haven't, um, because they're great. So I can't wait for those to get here. You'll see them on the Instagram. You'll see them in all the videos too because I wear them nonstop. But her holiday collection is so, so damn adorable. Just update, picked them up, ready to go, ready to live that nail fantasy, bitch. Yes. Okay, so here's another one that I'm very intrigued by. This is from, new from Smashbox. It is their Always On Cream Eyeshadows. They are $22 a piece, and it says here that they are a blendable cream eyeshadow infused with primer. It gives a saturated color with a matte finish, bold and neutral colors with a mousse-like texture, and I am really, really interested in these. You guys know I love cream or potted shades. I think they're some of the easiest, most like quick go-to type options you can have in your collection. I don't know how well you guys can see them on here, but they actually actually have a decent, um, a decent little shade range, like it said in the description from like, you know, more fun vampy colors all the way to neutral. And I really like these. I might pick up a couple of them. I don't know which ones yet. I'll kind of want to, you know, play around with that, but I will probably pick up, yeah, probably pick up a couple of them. Maybe the olive shade. I like that green. Um, and I really like Sienna too. That's like a deeper kind of color. Um, but yeah, these are really pretty. I'm very intrigued. Also, I'm not going to get into like the, the notes and all the, you know, fancy smell things here, but Jackie Ina, Little Miss Forever Mood creator over here, she is the creator of some of the best candles. I have one burning right there, right back there. And it is so, so good, you guys. If you have not tried her candles, the burn time, the evenness, the smell, like everything about them is so good. The quality is high, the unique, ever, just everything about her candles is great. And I've really, really been enjoying them. Well, I happen to notice that she's launching a couple new ones. She's launching four or new candles that are in, you know, two different sets of two. And I'm definitely thinking like, I might have to get my, my little grubby fingers on these. They're coming in two different sets. It's Slay Season Duo and then the You Up Duo, which is like the, the darker mysterious one. It has Naughty Nice and Fine Pine. Also, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about like the smells and stuff, but you guys, I just literally looked down at this candle for the Gingerbread Trap House. Okay, that's one of the white candles that she's launching. And the top note is Marshmallow Fluff. <laughs> Marshmallow fluff. You guys, I love marshmallow fluff. It's like my favorite snack, okay? Like, bitch, I eat that with a spoon. Marshmallow fluff. Okay, marshmallow fluff is like the, the, the reigning supreme of snacky deliciousness for me. And uh, oh my God, marshmallow fluff. Like, I was on this before, but bitch, I am so on it now. What the hell is this hair doing? I'm shocked that my hair hasn't completely deflated by now. I've been filming for hours. I don't know how I have any foof left. You guys, it's that Dyson Arab. By the way, have I, okay, I know it has nothing to do with this, just as a real quick pause. I talked about it in my Sephora sale recommendations when they did their um their whatever the hell it was anyways back in November they did a sale and uh, I was talking about it in there but I, guys if I haven't stressed how much I love the Dyson Airwrap look at this hair this is a hundred percent Dyson Airwrap like this big fluffy volume situation like I have the flattest awful most just hair ever in the world and it like sticks to my head okay that's how flat it is and the Dyson Airwrap like it has just changed my game and I'm gonna link it down below okay just just in case you have no damn clue at all what I'm talking about I'm gonna link it down below and before you click on it like just before you hit that button just be ready because sticker shock is a real thing and it is so expensive like I choked when I bought it um but it is it's so good like it's it's worth literally every dollar that I spent on that damn thing I would spend it all over again because the what it has done for my hair for my voluminous beautiful curly hair like I just 
Oh, I love it so much. Anyways, moral of the story. I'm gonna link it down below, but before you click it, just be mindful, okay? Because it's, it's pricey, but it's so oh, damn good. I love it so much. Okay, guys, just one more thing I wanted to add here, like what, one more actual product I want to talk about because it was on trend mood like right after I got done filming this. And we need to talk about the Danessa Myricks, her new flame multi-chrome little things, whatever, those liquid ones she released because they are so beautiful. I linked them on Instagram and over in the community tab here on YouTube. And I do plan on picking up a couple because I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to link them down below if you want to check them out. But, well, I mean, obviously you can tell. I'll have them on the screen too. But they are so beautiful. And Danessa Myricks, if you don't know, I did a full video on um, like just testing out all of her products. I'll link it up wherever the hell they go. But uh, her products overall, really, really good. The quality is great. And I think that these look absolutely gorgeous. I think the texture looks beautiful. Uh, obviously, I can't speak for like the wear or anything. But I'm really, really curious to see how they work, how they apply, opacity, all of that. So uh, be on the lookout. Once I get them ordered, which they are are available now on Beautylish as well. Um, at first they were just on her website, but then they went to Beautylish, which is when I shared them because I know on Beautylish, a lot of you guys love them because not only is their shipping good, but they also have the afterpay option. Um, so I wanted to go ahead, let you guys know that they did go there as well. Again, they'll be linked down below if you want to check them out, but um, I'm really, really interested in, the, in them. I think they're gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop on, let you guys know that they are, they're definitely coming to like this channel near you, bitch, because I am so excited about all the shiny things lately. All right. So last up from Nakia Joy, I'm going to put a screenshot up over here so you guys can see. But over on Instagram, I was tagged in this one reel a bunch of times um, by Nakia Joy. She put up a reel talking about her new loose multi and duo chromes. And they are absolutely beautiful. Again, you can see for yourself, they're gorgeous. Um, but a bunch of you wanted to know if I was going to pick them up and just kind of letting me know that they're there. Just wanted to let you guys know kind of, you know, all at one time here where I can actually explain myself. I am not going to be picking these up, but it's not because I don't think they would be good. Like I, I think wholeheartedly, I think they look gorgeous. For me, the reason I'm not picking these up is just because they're not pressed like into a pan. Just know that in this medium, I really wouldn't reach for them. And yeah, I just, I don't want to get something and like pick it up if I could just maybe wait and see. And by the way, if you guys have any info on this, like if she's talked about it, if, hey, yeah, I'm going to press them or that's the goal, maybe, you know, COVID, whatever, maybe something got in the way of that, please let me know or link a video, anything that you know down below, because I would be so interested in knowing more about these because I am in love with them. Like the colors. And by the way, go watch the video of this too on Instagram. Like her little hand roll, like it's just, uh, she's rolling that thing back and forth. And it is just so beautiful. Like the, the shimmery, glimmery goodness of these, they look so rich and gorgeous. And yeah, I just, I would really love them if they were pressed. So let me know all of your info down below if you have any on that, because bitch, it is gorgeous. But all right, you guys, with that, we are officially done here. I think I have said all that I came to say. So now it is your turn down in the comments. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions, whether it is on stuff that I already talked about or other stuff that you've seen that's launching. Uh, just overall, is there anything that you want to, you know, talk some shade about? Is there anything you're curious about? Kind of overall thoughts and opinions, leave it in the comments. And of course, per usual, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would greatly, greatly appreciate. And I think that that is everything. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My face makeup looks so bad, but my eyeballs look so good. Also, just a, you know, a fun little side note here. This is, so for real, I have had my hair up for the last couple of days because um, I've been so busy. I literally couldn't do anything with it. And then today I like wore it down and I just Dysoned it and I gave it all the foofy volume I could get. And I love it. Like why, why don't I have time to look this damn full and fantastic every single day? Like my, my life. Are you kidding me? I feel like I'd just be walking through life with wind in my hair, just like living it. I don't know. What, what is this? What is this? The wind? I'm trying to push the wind into my face. Whack. I don't know, but damn, I love this hair. It was the moral of my story there. I love my hair like this. I smell tacos. Should I smell tacos? Did mom, did mom make tacos? Cause bitch, if I smell tacos, I'm not upset about smelling tacos. Mmm, I love a good taco. You know, I gotta go investigate because tacos, they're smelling, smelling real strong. Oh, my brain. Please, baby, sweet baby Jesus, please. Eight pound, nine ounce, baby Jesus. However much you weigh, I don't care. I want some tacos. All up in my face.